Another important feature in ZMAX is adding folding mirror. So let's say I have from my last surface, you see, this is my last surface. I'm going to have add another surface and let me remove this one as a variable. Let's put 20. So at this point, and then after 20, from this surface, we always use marginal ray heights to keep it at focus. Right now, instead of this surface, I'm going to have a folding mirror at 90 degrees. So you click on this. First, you make your dummy surface. This is a dummy surface. This surface is a dummy surface. First, you click on your dummy surface, and then you click on add fold mirror. The so fold mirror is a surface X and the mirror is going to tilt at 90 degrees. So this is X rotation in X. You click OK. So now I have a lens lens system that I have a mirror that the mirror is tilted at 90 degrees. From now I have two coordinate breaks and the material automatically changed to mirror. And the thickness of this mirror is not important at all. And ZMAX usually change the thickness just with a random number. I think uh, a coefficient times the diameter of the mirror. So now I can, for example, I can change the angle 45 by 45. So the total is 90. If I wanted to do 60, I need to put 30 degrees for the rotation angle. So the coordinates at this point is going to be completely straight. So Zmax rotate the whole coordinate of Z direction. So Z direction is going like this and then from that it's going up. That's the way that we can put coordinate that we can put folding mirror. And in order to delete the folding mirror, we have to do the same process. So you click on delete fold mirror and surface 8 you click OK if you just delete those surfaces it's not gonna work so we remove the whole folding mirror that was here 